What's going on, guys? It's me again. It's KDK. I'm pleased to announce the release of Supreme Ultra will be officially released, the full version, next week. I want to thank all of you guys for the time and opportunity you guys have invested in watching this channel, the time that you guys have spent, for those of you donating to the Supreme team, for those of you guys out there just following along and contributing to the community. You guys know I'm a part of RetroPie Official. Obviously, we're not a part of the RetroPie official team, but that's just the group we go by on Facebook. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a sneak peek at the full power of Supreme Ultra. Uh, this one is the full version. No one else has this except a couple of members on the Supreme team. Uh, there are some beta versions going out. So I want to show you guys some of the power that you guys haven't experienced yet. Maybe you guys haven't seen. Uh, this is me writing the image to my Samsung T7 uh, external SSD. I've done this, what, seven times already, but I've never actually recorded it. I've done it live stream for a few guys so they can see it. And even quite a few of the devs were jealous. So I'm going to do a full installation for you guys so you guys can see the full power of what you're getting when you have a EEPROM. Pi 4. Uh, this is a 4 gigabyte model. This is also compatible with 8 gigabyte model. And today, uh, the 8 gigabyte model was finally EEPROMed as well. So you can use the, there is an EEPROM update available. I'll possibly try to get around to doing a video on that to walk you guys through how to update Supreme Pro and a few other builds over to uh, the 8 gigabyte and then also EEPROM available. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know there was a lot of hard work put into this. And so I just want to show you guys a few of the things while we are discussing it. So let's go ahead and write. Now, if you are using a Samsung Evo card, you guys know I am privy to that. That's one of my favorite SD cards. This one here, you guys can't fully see it. It's red but the rewrite speed on this is pretty decent. This typically takes about 40 minutes. And with this, as you guys can see, we should be done in about five minutes. That is some of the speed of using a USB 3.1. So, and you will get that speed on your Pi device because now you can use your USB 3.0 slot, well, technically it's 3.1. 3.2 is the red usb port now so just fyi for those of you guys who didn't know so uh you no longer have to use your sd port or sd card slot to load your images and if you guys are, are just now tuning into the channel for the very first time um i was against it originally but i'm all for it so you can get a one terabyte now for about 169 on sale so the 500 gigabytes usually go for about 80 bucks now. So the 250s are a little bit cheaper. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys just through the full boot process so you guys can actually see it. And for those of you guys who also didn't know, the Raspberry Pi Foundation snuck something in on us because uh, we didn't know until just a couple of days ago that they added the, um, what is it called? The, not the extractor, but the auto the expander. Typically, uh, devs have to add the auto expander code into the Raspberry Pi for RetroPie. So uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation already had it built in. It was totally encrypted, so that was another cool thing there. So um, we're just gonna sit here and wait because I wanna show you guys how quickly this loads for those of you guys still selling or offering. But you know, while I'm on that topic of SD cards again, Please stay away from those cheap SD cards that say U1 or 10 or something on it. They're very, very slow. They're okay for data storage if you guys just want to get something very, very cheap. But I know there are people pushing those links out because they're trying to make some Amazon money. And I'm telling you, all those cards are very, very cheap. Uh, I believe Wolf knows the muscle. Maybe a few other guys will be migrating over to SSDs. I know personally I won't be using any more SD cards. I mean, maybe just for demo purposes, just to have it. But for the most part, if you guys want to get the best optimal speed, you will need a uh, external SSD, something of that nature. It does improve gameplay. Just want to put that out there. Yes, it will improve the speed because the emulation will be a little bit better. 
you will be able to play Killer Instinct on the Pi 4 a little bit better. Also, there was an update made to the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model where uh, apparently um, not even Supreme Pro was accessing um, the full capability of reading all eight gigabytes. So I know there's a guy out there. He does really good. He puts out really good tutorials. His name is Leaps. Uh, I think his name is Leaps Video or something. He does a lot of Raspberry Pi stuff. He did a Sega Saturn test exceptionally good video however just to let you guys all know that it just occurred to us a few days ago that even supreme pro and a few of the other bills we have out there wasn't capable of reading the full eight gigabytes supreme ultra in 64-bit os will see or does see all eight gigabytes so no other build has ever had it we thought that it was there even running uh, Supreme OS, and maybe some of the other ones that were able to migrate over. No, it's all four gigs, but not eight. So you guys will be able to see the full version of Supreme Ultra, the full version of what RetroPie or this particular build can do in a 64-bit OS. In addition, there is a special announcement I do want to make about RetroPie. Uh, I'm not going to make that tonight. <laughs> It's, I've been holding on to it for the past month and a half or so, almost two months now, but there are some very big reasons or very big things coming out as to why this build is so special. Obviously, you guys will get the dual marquee. I'm not gonna show that tonight. You guys have seen my other video, check that out. So as you guys can see, it's already completed. So let's go ahead and boot up. And obviously it's not loaded, just in case you guys were wondering, because Supreme Team doesn't put out loaded bills. And I believe this base is it's either 13 or 20 gigs, I believe. And no, I have not forgotten about Venom. I have not forgotten about my arcade only image, and I have not forgotten about my light gun image. I already have a name for that light gun image. It's going to be called... Pistolero. Hope you guys enjoy that. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We got a custom splash screen that I made specifically for the Supreme Team. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now, it should reboot again. It's not, it shouldn't load into Emulation Station, so it should reboot again because it's auto expanding by itself. Again, that was something the Raspberry Pi Foundation put in. So this is how you guys know you have an EEPROM update Raspberry Pi. You have that new loader. So I'm thinking Venom um, is going to be loaded. It's going to be somewhere around 500 to 600 gigs. So I'm going to try to cut it down to about 600 gigs. Uh, reason being is I want to keep it affordable for you guys so you guys don't have to go out and get something expensive and i don't want to make it an odd number like 600 gigs so because if i do that you guys have to go out and get a one terabyte so i'll probably just have to cut it down only for that reason but um I'll, i will be working on it it will be ready eventually i want to thank all of you guys who have been messaging about it about it i know i promised that to you guys months ago back in april but because of all these new updates and all this stuff popping up, I didn't want to inundate everybody with a bunch of bills that would be obsolete because this has made everything obsolete. I promise you guys that. And just want to put that out there. You guys will absolutely love this build. Uh, it has a great operating system running in the background. So there you guys have it. Your first look at Supreme Ultra. Hope you guys enjoy it. First build ever with four front ends. Well, you can actually boot into all front four front ends, Pixel, Pegasus, Emulation Station, and a track mode. And of course, you guys were the first ones to see a track mode uh, loaded on the Pi 4 here on this channel. Thank you guys for that. I love sharing that experience with you guys. Hope to catch you guys soon. Please be patient. You guys who will get this. If you guys have any questions, make sure you check out my personal Facebook group, uh, Keel Dyke and Hobbies, Arcade, PC, Fireworks, and everything. Also, RetroPie Official and also Arcade One Up Official as well. Also, have a Patreon too. Hope you guys subscribe to that. Any donations that you guys have got, uh, uh, 
uh, donated has gone right back into the community because me going out and helping to get these pies helped spearhead it and optimize and get all the bugs out of this. So just wanted to let you guys know that was done for the community to help you guys out and get you guys jump started. So again, guys, this is KDK. You guys have a good night. Catch you guys soon. Really hope you guys enjoy the contribution to the community and have fun. Good night.